Hi, this is Cody with Aero Service Team, and this is another segment of Answers with Aero brought to you by Investors? Possibly you! When you go on vacation, what you can do to keep your, your stuff safe, your house safe, your belongings safe. First off, we're gonna start off with lock all external doors. I got a door over here, you know. I'm gonna lock it. It's locked now, we're good, we're safe in here. The next thing is uh, lock up your windows. I got a window right here. I'm gonna lock that quick. Lock! So that's locked now. Like, now I'm all safe from the outside world. There's nobody that can get me. We're good for the time being. But I gotta go on vacation still, so like, when I do go on a vacation, I'll head out that door and hit the open road. One other thing you can do is lock your garage door. You know, make sure it's closed because last weekend I went to Grand Forks with my girlfriend and she owns a home. So we drove there obviously when we were leaving. We clicked the garage door shut. Must not have paid attention completely because we came back and it was open all weekend. And she just got a heater so the energy bill is going to be high. So that's not good. Don't pull, don't, don't pull a Cody, okay? The next rule is uh, if you got a key, let's say you got a house key. Let's say this is your house key. You know, you don't want to just hide it over here behind the gutter, in the grill or anything like that, you know, under the mat, you know. That's where thieves look. If I was a thief, that's where I'd be looking. Probably just give it to a neighbor or a family or a friend. One other thing you can do is have that person just check in on your house, you know? Maybe the guy you just go over with and drink a beer with in his garage, you know, you guys hang out, and drink, drink a beer, play darts, whatever you guys do on the weekends. I don't judge. Yeah, maybe have him take a look while you're gone. He'd be cool. Another thing you can do is uh, set programmable lights. Like this is a light. Say 8 a.m have it turn on. Maybe at some point have it turn off like when it's bedtime. Just like that, you know? You don't actually have to do with the switch, you know? You can set up, they have like technology now where you can do that. So that's good. Um, another thing is motion activated lights. I'll demonstrate uh, some motion activation real quick. All right, say this in front of your house, lights off. I'm an intruder, I'm coming to steal your stuff, okay? I'm sneaking up at the door. Motion! Wow. Flashes on. I run away in fear, thinking somebody's home onto me. So that's how you can keep yourself safe. Another thing is uh, back to the windows. You know, don't just close your blinds like this. Nobody's gonna think you're gone. You know, if you have your blinds closed for a week or two at a time, be like, what's going on with that guy? He's probably not home. I bet I can go steal his, his lawnmower. Right? Who doesn't want a free lawnmower? And walked out with a lawnmower. Yeah, that's what happened. That guy's not home. Yeah, yeah, and if you'll keep them open and like, let's say you have some valuable like normally sitting in the window that people can see, like this water bottle, 40 bucks from Shields of Delicious Water. Hide it, you know? Go put it somewhere else where it's not visible through the window. You know, if I put it over here, they can't see that, no. Now make yourself look poor as possible, right? Right? Uh, another thing is uh, your lawn or snow, like cause it's winter time now, but in the summertime you go on vacation too. So have somebody start up that lawn more. Yo, cause this is it. Mow your lawn for you while you're gone. Maybe pay a company, have like the neighbor do it, the guy you drink the beer with, maybe the family. Same with snow. You want all your snow clear because like, if I'm a robber and there's high grass and there's uh, a lot of snow or something like that, I'm probably gonna go rob your house, honestly. You know, that guy, you know, he doesn't take care of his lawn. Probably um, doesn't have a nice lawnmower, but he might have like something else cool, like a car. Yeah, because if he's on vacation, he probably didn't take all his cars, you know? Silly him. Uh, another thing is uh, maybe get a security system like a camera. Camera right here watching me do this segment, you know? They're usually motion activated, so like if you own a camera, get an update on your phone. 
hey, there's somebody outside your house. You might want to take a look at it. And then I see the guy sneaking around and all black and ski mask on. I'm like, oh, I should probably call the cops. 911. Actually, that probably won't work for my vacation because like you have to call the local police department and be like, yo, somebody's breaking into my house. Go arrest them. I want to press charges. Thank you. But you can do that or you can get like stickers that say beware of dog or security system operating even if you don't have it. And that's what I'd probably do. If I'm too lazy to go get a security system. I probably just have a sign that says security system cameras here. The last tip I have for you is you know you're on vacation, you wanna flex you're on vacation, you know, you wanna you wanna get those likes on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or Twitter or whatever. Don't post those until you get back, okay? You know? If I'm the local robber, I'm gonna be looking on Facebook saying, oh yeah, Peggy Sue's out of town. If you knew Peggy Sue. She just posted her uh, bikini picture on Instagram. Let's go rob her, take all of her belongings. So just wait, okay? Is that too hard to ask? Thank you. This is another segment of Answers with Arrows presented by